Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel English Literature. Today I am going to read about Protestant and Reformation movement. Reformation movement, I have made a uh, particular video on Reformation movement. Reformation is related to the reform of church's practices, the religious reformation. And what is Protestant? Protestant, the word comes from protest. The complaint against the church's practices. That is Protestant movement. The Reformation is more submissive term in respect of Protestant. So, Protestant movement has various forms in various parts of Europe. Some of it is known as Lutheranism, Angl Anglicanism, Protestantism. There are several terms related to this movement. Actually, Protestant movement is an umbrella term. In various parts of the Europe, protest came over the church's corruption and in that part it is named in something particular. So the Protestant movement of the early 16th century shook the base of the holy church and changed the identity of religious faith. Till then what happened? Church was the supreme authority. Church was the head and no one can question the church. We all know the story of Joan of Arc, Bruno, Vamini. All were killed or burned at stake or they cut their tongue just to stop them, speak against church, heresy. On term, whoever speak against term, they are either burned or killed in charge of heresy. No one can, could say a single word against church. Unquestionable submission and subjugation. That was the only focus, only reign of church. And that monopoly of church was questioned in Protestantism. The rejection of the supremacy of Catholic Church. Rejection of the supremacy of Catholic Church as dominated in the early 16th century is known as the Protestant movement. Splitting Christianity in two major dimensions, Catholic and Protestant. And in the Protestant, I told you there are several sub-branches like Anglicanism, etc. So in this way, you can understand. Origin of the word Protestantism. Protestantism comes from the word protest. And reformation comes from the word reform. And these two verbs will make you understand what they mean actually. So the aim and objectives of the Protestant movement were to protest against the debauchery and bureaucratic rule of the church as well as to reform the church practices. They not only protest, but also to reform and make something good out of it. They cannot withdraw or erase the religion. They just reform the religion and make it good, make it beneficial for common people. The background, we have to discuss about the background of Protestant movement. The rise of humanism, people's interest in classical philosophy, and availability of the Bible due to translation of Bible in vernacular language, invention of the printing press, aggravated the Protestant movement. These causes, this social political background aggravated the growth of Protestant movement. Now causes of Protestantism. One aspect of Protestantism, actually background and cause is quite related. Even we just discriminate it for better understanding or discussion in details. One aspect of Protestantism was the reformation of religion. The Catholic Church which was founded in the first century, you know, Catholic Church is the arrival of Christianity, you remember, over the centuries developed into a powerful institution. Saint Augustine came in the soil of Britain and Christianity. And gradually Christianity was spread over the Europe and other parts of Europe, Britain, and this over the centuries is developed into a powerful institution under the papal monarchy. Its power and pompousness were backed by a huge bureaucracy of religious officials. Pope practiced greater political and military influence over the empire. The Catholic Church campaigned for the social and political monopoly of the institutionalized religion 
the religion was not for common people the religion was totally guided and controlled by institution that is the church declaring that monarchs and nobles are closer to god than the common people and priest are the just the direct colleague of god you can say so that's a branch that's a bridge in social construction was created that in society some people the common people remain at the lower strata and they have to suppress they are suppressed oppressed and used by the upper part that is the king and the priests they took the all advantage and live a luxurious life by preaching and these types of gossips these types of uh, sermons that they are just the right hand sider of god and those you are common people you are just for suppression okay now education and ideas were also under the domination of the church it baked the ideas of how the universe work even they propagated everything how the universe work what is star what is moon or they knew everything and according to them star new moon or everything just rotate so and whoever spoke against that belief was put on the charge of heresy and eventually killed by burning on a stake or by other men but this scenario changes and the monopoly of the church is questioned and challenged the situation was exacerbated by the transformative social and intellectual period named the renaissance and due to renaissance there came a huge change of uh, thought in people's mind till then people were more interested in god and god supremacy god's power god stories and the paradigm shifted from god to man people's interest came in man human endeavor human creation art science literature exploration so gradually they started questioning they started thinking and due to the enlightenment man's faith shifted from religious doctrines to man himself the study of man be man in every way catholic domination treated life in so much resistance that in the early 16th century european christianity eventually divided into two and gradually numerous groups in later history we have told that the christianity was divided in catholic and protestant those who protest against the illegal practice of catholicism religion they are known as protestant in later half we can find that protestants again divided in many as various sub groups and sub branches in various parts of the europe clear now we'll talk about the exponents of protestantism priest like john wycliffe of england is john wycliffe of england john hus of bohemia they are the exponent of protestantism at the first page they challenged the preaching of the church john hus check reformer was influenced by wycliffe's writings and he was therefore born at stake as he protested he was born at stake you can see here john uh, hus was just putting on fire they are preparing to burn one person just roping him in a stake and then giving fire to stop the mouth in northern and central europe martin luther and john calvin were working against the papal authority and dictatorial rule of the church so martin luther and john calvin john calvin and martin martin luther was working over it in various parts so we find in england there was john wycliffe then in check we find john hus and again martin luther and john Cal martin luther is northern europe uh, germany where john calvin was in central europe they all were protesting against the corruption illegal practices monopoly autocracy of the church the most well known advocate of reformation or protestantism is martin luther 1483 to 1546 now we'll talk about martin luther he was a german monk and theologian he was the university lecturer at utenberg 
and he protested against the corrupted practices of the church like selling indulgences you know that you have done something wrong and you are very rich and powerful so you just give some money and tell okay some you are just free you can do again more wrong and give us more money that is the selling of indulgences money one can buy his salvation his or her salvation if forgiveness and pardon can be sold in this way then sin will be common practices among the rich luther thinks salvation can be gained by faith only and in god alone not by just giving some money again the luxury and pompous life that the priest were walling on was in no way the dogma of religion they cannot be religion the luxury the luxurious life that the priest were just enjoying that cannot be the way of religion so in 1517 he published his 95 thesis questioning the church practices it is told that he just pinned them in the church wall you can find this picture nailed them his ideas and queries spread among the young christian humanists they started protesting the church purging by burning papal documents and canon law books people started burning protesting and luther's opinion luther's protest luther saying just spread like fire in people's heart and why that can be happened how many people charged could 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 on heresy and burn them at stake because they are the renaissance men they had the power to question to think to complain man's relation and obligation are with god not with the holy church he was put on trial as a consequence and later he was charged with heresy and excommunicated so however luther's 95 thesis already gave birth to the protestant ideas actually what happened then there was the printing press so the ideas can spread can get access to various people at various times in various parts of europe that was possible and with luther's excommunication the movement gained momentum and it happened for good luther challenged the sale of indulgences salvation through bribe someone has going to heaven but the heaven's door is closed that telling you cannot be self uh, salvage you cannot be get salvation because you do this this these wrong things on earth so what will happen the person then tell the priest okay hello i am not able to go i am not able to enter the church uh, heaven's gate due to those things sins i have done on the earth so tell my relatives to bribe you and send me through the gate now the priest is calling the persons and telling them that they are your relative is waiting at the door of the heaven just give me uh, some money and i will call the god and tell him okay take him uh, inside so <laughs> this thing was happening salvation through bribe priest are the mouth speaker of god not at all these things luther challenged and theory of transubstantiation what is this transubstantiation the priest has the miraculous power to change the bread and wine in the body and blood of christ christ so this challenge this theory gave the priest a miraculous power that they can do miracle this transubstantiation was challenged by luther and what luther propagated holy scripture is the last word of religion according to luther holy scripture is the last word of religion not the church so the bible must be available in all vernacular language and he gave importance upon this and you remember wycliffe's bible wycliffe every protestantism uh, sorry every protestant whoever protest they gave emphasis on translating bible in vernacular language because if a common people cannot understand what is written in bible 
then whatever you just explain they have to believe they cannot judge by themselves so translating bible into vernacular language help the common people to understand bible and then the rumor spreading the rumor or mistranslation or uh, uh, explaining in wrong way will not be possible people can understand oh it is written here and they is saying the wrong thing so all the person of protestant movement all the exponents of protestant movement they gave emphasis on translating bible it is very vital and i will make a video on the translation of bible you know people has to die people has to burn on stake for translating bible because the church did not want to translate bible in vernacular language church did not want to make the common people know they does, did not want to break allow the breaking of the hello the false hello that they surround among themselves so bible must be accessible for common people and we will talk about this translation of bible in our video the only way of salvation is faith so these are the theory of luther keep faith in god and that is the only way of salvation not money you give money and tell okay open the door i have given money to the priest let me go in heaven that is not the invention of printing press adds fuel to this uh, copies of his ideas started printed and spread over the europe luther and other reformers translated bible into vernacular languages so for common people bible become easily accessible and these two are very very important the translation of bible into vernacular language and the invention of printing press in protestant movement lutherism paved the way for several other forms of protestantism lutherism paved the way for several other forms of protestantism and one of them was said by king henry the 8 we have no the story of king henry the 8 and his six wife in england reformation began with henry the 8's direct conflict with church it was known as anglicanism i told you that protestantism has various sub branches like anglicanism lutherism etc calvinism king henry the 8 married catherine of aragon and she was his sister in law the wife of his brother arthur but her husband's death henry the 8 married her she could not give an heir to the english throne so he wanted to dissolution dissolute his marriage but pope clement the 7 did not grant it enraged henry broke up with the catholic church in 1534 you know there is a story when luther was protesting against catholic church Henry the Eighth supported Catholic Church and spoke against Lutheranism. So Church just applauded him, giving uh, that God of religion just um, respected him by saying that he is the God of religion. But when Henry the Eighth himself faced some personal problem, then he just forgot everything about religion and broke up with the Catholic Church in fifteen thirty four. with the act of supremacy this is very important act of supremacy 1534 hinder the aids direct conflict with pope clement the 7 over the divorce uh, of him with catherine of aragon and declaring himself as the supreme head of the church of england so with this we finish our story of protestantism okay bye